Lynn Holly, and today I am making a soap called Pineapple and Jasmine. The first thing I'm going to do is add in the coconut milk. And the background buzzing you may hear is the air conditioner. We are in air conditioner season here. And I tried having it off earlier for a little bit, and it was just no can do. It was much too warm in here. I'm burping the stick blender, that's what this business is all about. We're trying to get all the excess air out of the shaft. And now for the lye solution. I am a room temperature soaper, so these are at room temp, which I'm not quite sure what it is at the moment. Room temperature is currently about 71 and it's 77 here in the pot. I had to reheat my oils to make this batch and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and finally I've decided I got them to, I don't know, 78 or so. I'm like, we're just going to go for it. My last couple of batches accelerated by quite a bit, so I really want to hold back here if I can. I'm looking for emulsification. It does not have to be in a trace, but I also want to make sure that it holds. Sometimes I can stir for a little bit and I'll start to see some graininess and I'll know that it's not quite there. This is looking all right. I'm gonna go ahead and pour off what I need without the fragrance oil. So I'm gonna do four different colors. And might as well get another pitcher in here. I'm going to be doing an in the pot swirl. In the pot, not outside of the pot like I just did. Goodness. That's the second time I've done that in a row. Sometimes I just can't see where I'm pouring. That is my downfall to being so short. Let me look at these. I could not see my markings as I was pouring. That's two, two. That's just about at two liters. Good. Into the big pitcher here, big pot, I should say. I want to put in some titanium dioxide. I just want to lighten it up a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get that blended in. This fragrance oil, it does say that it could discolor a little bit. So I'm using some of the titanium dioxide for that reason, plus I want it just to be a little bit more of a white color in general. Sometimes what I do is kind of like slosh some of the color up on the side so that it will pull down any of the uncolored portion. Into these I have some pink and yellow. I'm going for a more pale aspect here but we'll see the yellow was a little bit thicker there I do mix with my batch oils but I remember that I did not 
add a whole lot of oil to the yellow. And into these pictures, I kind of have a sea green color. I made a soap last year called Tropical Breezes, I think. I don't know if that's what I called it. Anyway, it was a pineapple based fragrance. And so I'm doing another pineapple based fragrance, but it is different. Same design as that soap in general, just a different fragrance. I didn't feel like that fragrance really had enough of the pineapple for my liking. So I thought I'd try something a little bit different. I didn't want to put my spatulas in there quite yet because then I just have to work around them. So I'm just going to get these all mixed in. That's pretty bright, but I know this one tones down a lot. The same with this one. These are the same colors I use in my summer beaches soap, but I just know how much it tones down. That's pretty. Very nice. Very nice. I love it. Everything is playing nicely so far because we don't have the fragrance in yet. And I am going to try to just stir it in at first. So, hmm, this is not a very pourable situation. I think I'm going to pour most of it in here first. And then I'll just put in a little bit into each one. This is a much reduced fragrance. Usage is 5%, but I've cut it back to 4% because pineapple and jasmine can always be really strong for me. And I didn't want it just to be an obnoxious fragrance. Plus I thought it might help with that discoloration just a little bit. Sometimes when you use fragrances at the usage rates they're still too strong and I usually use five percent or less but even still they can be super strong this can you see this one goes orange <laughs> I should have mentioned that that mica goes orange but it'll come back to the pale yellow all right I still want to give this all a little bit of a blend want it just a little bit. I don't want it to accelerate. I just want to confirm that everything's mixed in nicely. So back into the pot this is going to go. I'm going to put the pink kind of up here on the front. I do want a little bit left for the top. Let's see, we're going to put the yellow, which we're just going to have to use our imaginations for a few. It's going to be up here. in the bluish color here. And then the green-ish one in this corner. So this is going well. I'm happy with the progress here. 
I'm gonna kind of, let's see. I'll do it so you can see it really well. And I'm just going to just stay still. Okay. Now, bring some of that white around. Now, the last time I made this, I was a little nervous that it was over mixing, but it turned out perfect. So, I am not going to worry about these over blending appearing areas. And part of it is because it looks orange right now, but that yellow, when it comes back to its pale color, will give us a, a more authentic look at it. All right, so I may have to block you just a bit here so that I can, <laughs> so I can maneuver. I'm being very careful as I scrape the container because I don't want to over blend those colors that are remaining in there. I find that most times with an in the pot swirl that the colors do stay rather separated here at the end so it's not that big of a deal. I should have showed you but it is too late now. This was the stage that I panicked quite a bit last time I made it because I was like, oh no. Those colors have significantly over blended. So I was quite nervous, quite upset, and almost too scared to look at it. And then it turned out great. So Yay. So let's let's hope I didn't jinx this batch. And it really is gonna look super wonky. I am just gonna keep on with the rest of these colors and I'll come back in a moment. I'm going to add a little bit of this biodegradable gold shimmer glitter. I just love this stuff. Oh my goodness, this looks so pretty. That's coming out pretty fast. So we're just going to go with that. And here we have the batch of pineapple jasmine soap. And I'll see you back here for the cut. Alright, so it's time to cut this pineapple and jasmine soap. Hopefully it's nicely in focus there for you. Now this soap did discolor a little bit, but it's not a bad discoloration by any means. I think it kind of looks nice. Now, this one does have glycerin rivers. It really, really got glycerin rivers with this batch. That's all right. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a just a design thing. It's a little hard because it's been a while. I have some really awesome swirls though. I love how it turned out. It just would have been a hint better without the discoloration and a hint better without the, um, the glycerin rivers. That's all right. It will do. Now, the pineapple is not super strong. A lot of the bars look pretty much like this. <laughs> um, it's definitely stronger on 
the jasmine. I do not. I guess this is an actual bar. Okay. I thought maybe I'd pushed it clear over, but I do have my end piece here. Just definitely looks like an end cut. But it definitely is more on the jasmine side. My son was helping me up here the other day. He cut most of the soaps and just left a loaf for me. And I was quizzing him on every single one. Well, what does that smell like? And he had no idea what this was. Of course, he would not recognize Jasmine, but necessarily. But he did say that, yes, it's definitely more than on the Jasmine side than the pineapple side. But to me, it's definitely there. Like, it's, it's just more subtle. It's not a straight Jasmine scent by any means. And often in use, oh, this is interesting right here. Isn't that cool? Often in use you'll get some of those extra notes kind of bloom with the contact with the water and everything. But for now it is a little bit more on the jasmine side. It turned out pretty good. Let's see, where are my... I cleaned up some bars for the pictures. They're still just a little bit rough because I cleaned them up a while ago. Might have to go over them again. But there's definitely just a little texture from the glycerin rivers to be expected but again completely safe it's just a design thing all right so there we have the pineapple and jasmine I'm thinking about just calling it jasmine and pineapple or something that doesn't maybe um, really push the pineapple part of it even though it's there so we'll see what I come up with Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.